Melbourne Street near your phone through this panel, I'm gonna make the street meet I'll out there for a bunch of little bitches and then crying over This is a weird one, man. Real stories. Welcome, everyone. For some late night chat. This weird, weird, weird shit is coming out. Fuck knows what Haley Mary really is. We're just watching Sick Clips doing his live. And I see of interest he's talking about John Mahona. Kaylee. And a woman called. Do, 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 do. Let's have a little chat along the. I'll just tell you what. Oh, welcome, Maria. Thank you. Have you had a good day? We're just having a look back on the day. Forward to the next. So, like I said, I'm just listening to Sip Clips. Um, Kaylee's been mentioned on it, so has John. John Wayona. Um, all the trolls have been mentioned on it. Andy Devine has been mentioned on it. So, you know, look, look these trolls, they um, what they're doing is getting around. And actually, on the subject of trolls, I didn't really want to call them trolls. I wanted to call their mum scared people. But we most probably will call them trolls. I just want to show you a few, few things. Some stuff of interest. I found of interest Greg Hallett. Greg Hallett is a very big personality within the truth movement. He um, He's posted something about Elliot Dawson. And of course, I know all about Elliot Dawson. So let's just have a look what Greg said about him. The major witness of the Christchurch shooting interviewed by the internal affairs agent Vinnie Eastwood. Elliot Marshall Dawson gets his own YouTube channel to give voice to the ferocity of his character as immediately avoided by the internal affairs agent Vinnie Jones on the 18th of March 2019 so that would have been three days after the shootings this is interesting TK Lewis I know, Vinnie Eastwood. What evidence do you have he's an internal affairs agent? And so what if he is? Imagine it's the same information Greg has that um make that that convinces him that John Patterson is a part of um the Army Brigade. Now this is entry he carries on part of his assassination squad just because you know a killer doesn't make it right don't know what that refers to but either way that's what i've i've written i've said um hi greg what made you take an interest in elliot dawson can i do an interview with you about what you know about him please he replied He's not a very bright shill, to which I replied, do you think he's a killer? Because, you know, essentially I think he's a killer. I sent um, Greg Hatfield a private message, which I'm happy to share with you. Hi, Mr. Hallett. I'm a huge fan and have been following and promoting your work for years. I see of interest your interest in Elliot Dawson. Would you be so kind to join me in a live chat to discuss his role in the Christchurch shooting? I look forward to your reply. I mean, you can bet your bottom dollar I'll be doing um, 
my own little program all about Elliot Dawson. There you go, I'm just looking at um sip clips. He's an inspiration. I, I love the, I love his style. Thank you. Hello, Christopher Wolf, and thank you for joining. Of course, the beauty of this is that you can pop in and out again. And if you have you ever got time to um or the inclination to watch through it later, you can. So I've shown you about Greg Hallett. I want to show you some little um conversations I've been having with some trolls, namely Jeffro, Jeffro the donkey. So let's jump in with YouTube. Oh yeah, and lovely, I may be going to jail. That's another thing I've got to tell you, I may be going to jail. I'll, I'll show you why, okay? Let me log in to my YouTube and we'll get there. To go to jail. I'm not going to jail. But someone has apparently reported me for breaching whatever injunction I've meant to have been told not to break. To be honest, there's so many injunctions, I've forgotten which one is which. All I do know, be on the safe side, I just don't really say much about anything controversial. So I just kind of like. Keep it quiet, keep it quiet, keep it quiet. Let's go to comments and see what we can see. Oh, I do like to be beside. It's great to see. It was wonderful watching um, Trump today. I'm not such a big fan. I just, um, okay. So here we go. Um, this is something, yeah, look. I've got a message. Can you see this, everyone? Oh, no, you cannot see it, can you? Oh, yes, you can. You can see it. Can you see it? You can't see it. You can't see what I'm seeing. Of course you can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here and try and... Did that work? Transition? No, okay. And then if I then take this off, And then take that down. Okay, can you, I think that may be a bit better. I hope so. So now I hope you can see it. <laughs> Silly me. Silly bloody me. So, I mean, it all should all catch up. So, look. Oh, okay. We're going to see. This is what. I, this is a message here from DH Baby Delivery Service. You've been reported. So, I, I looked I looked into this channel. And. um Starts off. Starts off. Matthew Taylor. Oh, that's spelled my name wrong. Matthew Taylor is in, let's just read, and it kind of gave me a bit of a fright, I must admit. I must admit, it gave me a bit of a fright to, to read this this morning. Matthew Taylor is in breach, breach of court condition. Matthew, spelt wrong, is in breach of the conditions spelt right. Let's, right. Okay. So that's, you know, that's been a bit of a worry, actually. But, um, so I've passed it on to my solicitor. Hopefully it's going to be fine. Nothing's going to come of it. Let's hope so. So that's that really kind of like, yeah, I got this comment today from the Equalizer. Another fat, lonely prick who can't see his dick. Him and Brindle have that 
in common. Utter, dumb, base, ugly cunt. 100% Elton John. Well, there you go. Thank you for the comment, the equaliser. Well, let's let, let just demonstrate what pricks these are, this equaliser. He takes the time to comment to me, but to do so, he would have had to have made himself a whole new sock, cup, sock puppet account to do so. So, there we go. Equaliser, videos, none. About, beware, fake equalisers. They can't get the job done, but I can. What the frick is that all about? Hey? Eh? So, here we go. Um, so, we've got... I mean, does this DHL baby service know something? Tick tock, knock knock. Who is it? Cops! Oh, I'm so scared. I don't really want to go to jail. But actually, I don't want to go to jail. And I'm doing everything in my power to ensure I don't go to jail. So, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Why? It's a big deal, people. I don't want to go to jail. And I'm not going to go to jail. Okay. Let's see. So, here we go. I had this conversation with Jeffro. So, as you may know, I've done a... Um, let's just look on... On my page, I did a, I did a live earlier on about, about John. As you can see, where is it? Just scroll down my page. Isn't Facebook lovely, eh? Um, yep, no, that's going on now, isn't it? <laughs> that is. You like my little picture? An English state banquet versus a British state banquet. Can you see the difference? The old silly Saxons are still using the the square, the rectangles. The top state, you know, the top top dog sits at the top and then all the lesser people either side. That's the Saxons. Can you see the difference with the British? Yeah, they're round. It's the round table of King Arthur. You see, now if we had a proper British state cat banquet, we'll be sitting at round tables to that yesterday we saw a typical english state banquet and look what they do rectangle that's the difference let's always remember king arthur the second born 503 a.d to six nights 569 a.d now yep yeah, this is good now elliot dawson there's more to you than meets the eye. There is more to you than meets the eye. I know that you were in prison for the last six months before you came out of jail and got caught up in the Linwood Mosque. So what is the story? What is the story, Elliot? It was down to you. You achieved what hundreds of people failed to achieve. You, Elliot Dawson, took my YouTube channel down. Now, that is a bloody great achievement. Well done. But, of course, it was it. It was, um, it was your handlers. This is a great little picture. Isn't it? I love this. Look at this, eh? And, of course, we're on the subject of King Arthur. This is how King Arthur's kingdom was destroyed. Asteroid debris raining down. I mean, you can see this asteroid here is skimming. The Earth's surface from a safe distance away. But of course, back in King Arthur's day, this asteroid would have been a lot lower. Absolutely fascinating. If you haven't seen this one yet, you should really, really see it. It's absolutely beautiful. But we'll move on. Look at them. I mean, what do you make of Chris Spivvy's contention? Let's just quickly go on Chris Spivvy's. And keeping this picture in mind, okay? Keeping that in mind, that and that profile. What do you make of Chris, of the Chris Spivy conspiracy that all these politicians are playing more than one identity? 
you will be fooled again. You will be fooled again. So, having seen that picture of May and her husband, I mean, you know, what do you think? I know the picture overlays perfectly, but is that any evidence? I mean, just, what do you think? And what do you think of this? I mean, that's pretty spot on. What do you think of this? They look uncannily similar. Is it Philip May dressing up like that? In per can it? Can it? Really? Is it? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. I'm bloody two minds. I'm more inclined to think that, yeah, they're up to some pretty insidious shit. Pretty insidious shit. Oh, fuck off, phone. Did I ask for your opinion? No. So why don't you keep the stop up when I'm doing a live Facebook, okay? Compre? Good. Just turning my phone off. So, of course, I've done this this morning. Let's talk about John Wanoa. I did so because I wanted to answer some questions. I wanted to um, tell you all about how I, when I first met him, why I believe in him, why he commands my utmost respect and um, loyalty and support. So I've done that this morning. And in response... I received the following comment from Jeffro the Donkey. His comment was, the man is a scammer. To which I replied, oh, no, he's not. As I tried to explain, looks like I may have to do another one to explain further. Explain about why, OK, they explain further, full stop. But then, I, then I'm sending, asking a question to Jeffro now. Explain why you think he's a scammer. Why do you think he's a scammer then? Let's do a Google Hangout together. And then I, I ask a following question because um, Jeffro's asked a lot of has asked a lot of questions about me. He asked about um, my involvement in the Moai Tidal Energy Company. And about why I, um, whether I resigned or not. I answered that question fully and comprehensively and to his satisfaction, okay? So I've got every right to ask back. So here we go. Jeffro, why has your channel only got two subscribers, myself included, that's a. and no content? I mean, he did essentially what the uh, equalizer does, doesn't he? So he, he said. So this Jeffro Donkey has set himself up with a with a sock com a sock account purely to leave anonymous messages on other people's channel, okay? And I ask him the question: So why do you do that? Why, you know, what what about you is so important that you have to hide behind anonymity? And I, I never wrote those words, but that's what the gist of that question was. Come on, Jeffro, I've answered all your questions you've asked of me. When are you going to answer my questions? To which I received a reply. Mr. X, I can't, sorry. But I'm sure Grobnob will be willing. Try asking Sparkle or Mayfair. Mr. X, because I don't feel like making content. I ask questions instead. And he's still a scammer. He's not very able one of that. Look, fucking hell. John Wahona is not a damn scammer, right? And anyone who keeps on says and he's a scammer, are he's actually the scammer. Because I've known John a lot longer than you have, Jeffro, okay? And I've checked out his um his plan of action. And I'm on board. Okay? He, you're just jealous because this guy. This John Warner is doing something that you could never dream of doing. He's changing the world for the better. So I, I remind them, I, I don't like the word can't. I tell my kids off for saying it. It all goes back to the army for me. 
Can't means won't. Won't means gel. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So can't isn't in my vocabulary anymore. And so when I hear someone say, I can't, sorry. No, can't means won't. Okay? Say it as it is. You won't come on air with me and debate things with me. Because you, it's you the scammer. You the scammer, not me. Um, he said, look, here's the nine minutes ago. This is a new one. I haven't read this yet. Jeffro the donkey, Mr. X. You'd know all about the possibility of going to jail. Fuck yeah. Fuck. Sorry for swearing. Fuck yeah. I know all about going to jail. Last two years, I've have I've had jail hanging over me. And even now, it's hanging over me. Because I'm getting horrible fucking messages from asshole fucking trolling cunts. Like this little bitch. You've been reported. And I'll tell you now. I'll be honest with you. My anxiety, first thing in the morning, shot up. Okay? See, the good thing about Equalizer, I'm, I'm carrying extra weight, and it, it will go, because in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to do my fitness stuff live on air. Why not? <laughs> my extra weight will go. But the thing with you, Equalizer, and something I've got over you, I'll always be more intelligent than you, Equalizer. And I'll always be a damn sight more fucking handsome than you. You see? You haven't even got the guts to fucking show yourself. I don't like using the word trolls because I just see you all as scared individuals not understanding what John is bringing to the table. And because you don't understand it, you turn it around and you're making it ugly. But to be fair though, Grobnob, I quite, I'm warming to him now, even though he's an insidious troll who, um, who makes no... Secret of the fact that he likes going out ruining people's lives. But if if there had to be a quite um, a roll call and degrees of severity of trolling, Grobnob actually wouldn't be in the um, worst category. So yeah, that was a bit um got a bit passionate there. That was today's day's trolling comments. I've got something from AJ. That's not Gary, you Fruit Loop. Because, of course, when Kaylee Freeman was on the phone to Den Tarragon, I mistook Den for Gary. So, obviously, I'm a Fruit Loop. I'm a Fruit Loop. I'm a Fruit Loop. That's about it, really. Um, 22 minutes. Late, five past 11. Sit clips on TV. Emma's in bed. I've got a herbal tea. Oh, must be more to life, isn't there, than just sit in front of the TV and going live on Facebook. <sighs> Anything happening out there today? Anything of interest? What kind of day have you had? Hold on to your flip-flops, peeps. Uh, let's just look at my Facebook for a bit. Hey. So, let's do it. Let's see. Let's do some um, Morad is live. These going lives are fantastic, aren't they? Isn't that wonderful? We're seeing a clip of life from another country. I just wish I had better broadband connection that we'll be able to watch it more. But I'm I'm pretty sure that their broadband at the moment is all. Uh, thanks for joining, Christopher. I'm just going to wrap it up. Really, I was just bored. Wanted to come on. I've told everyone about my day. It's been full of trolls comments. It was good to catch. Um, it was good to catch John. Today. It was good to catch John. I must admit. And it was good to. What else happened today? I don't know. So, what am I trying to... I've 
got that on there and I'm trying to take this off All right and then if we just push this one up there maybe yeah there you go I'm back I'm back people people is that a defl def def defl deflammatory phrase of course not I'm back there Facebook friends um what are you what are you planning for tomorrow I'm looking forward to today in which we changed in, in which we changed the world to that a little bit better and of course um every day it's becoming more and more urgent isn't it it's important that we save the earth it's my son's birthday today he was nine years old wonderful it was great and um, i look forward to him having a wonderful life ahead of him a life in which um we've got no war we've got no poverty we've got no child abuse a lot of people say that's never going to happen because that's you know it's a part of the status quo but i've never i've never never brought into that you know i often when, when i first saw John Wahona and seeing what he's doing, I look back in history and what John is doing today has been going on throughout history for centuries. This is how change happens. This is how the next progression takes place. This is how the step forward, you, you know, this is what it looks like. It, it, it comes down to men. It comes down to one man's vision. And how well that one man can bring other people on board with his vision to enact massive change. I mean, the example sprung to mind when I when I first got involved with John, I thought a lot about um, Cromwell and the Civil War in British history. Of course, it was anyone would think about Cromwell when royalty coming into play and of course it was Cromwell who um who got rid of the royalty but in a sense brought brought in his own um his own tyranny to replace the tyranny of the of the royalties and of course that was ultimately what <laughs> what convinced Britain to um have their kings back after the reign of Cromwell but of course, Cromwell, again, just like John Mahona, was one man. And while John is not going to bring the tyranny that Oliver Cromwell brought centuries ago, he is going to bring that immense change that Cromwell brought about. I love the idea of a native Maori Mo, sorry, of a native, native Moai king from the other side of the world being the one who brings the corruption of the Windsor family crashing down. Because that's, that's essentially what we're talking about here, isn't it? This is why we, and when I say we, I mean the truth movement, are so keen to um, bring about the end of the status quo. We're so keen because we see the corruption seeping, ev seeping within the system. It's everywhere. We are the victims of that corruption. So we, we are more aware of the corruption than anyone else. And it's for that reason we are supporting John because I keep my eyes out and I don't see anyone else doing what John is doing and offering what John is offering and and backing it up with evidence and the in evidence I mean his videos his personality his voice his talk what he's giving out to the world that's the evidence for me um to keep on parroting that he's a scammer it's it demonstrates your lack of education it demonstrates of your lack of EQ, your emotional quote, 
you you you, are, you evidently cannot engage in conversation or or engage in debate where you always go back to your baseline. But well, he's a scammer. He's a scammer. No matter what you say, he's a scammer. It's just dumb. Well, well, what? How? how you, there is no way to kind of like come back to that. Just got to let them see, keep saying, look, look, the man's a scammer. And then he's going to say it again. He's still a scammer. He's always going to say he's a scammer. We do need a truce. But if a truth, if, if, like, if a truce isn't viable, then what other options have we got? Complete victory. That's one of them. Now, look, I don't know whether all these graphics are working or whether, you know, it's it's all just frozen at your end. It's definitely frozen at my end. That's for sure. Let me just look at the OBS. The, oh, the volume still. May, maybe my volume still coming out. Maybe not. Um, but maybe not moving pictures. That's OK. Where are, where are we at the moment? It's 11.15. Sip clips are still on. He's listening to something about the Templar Report. The Passion of John Cleese. Now, something about the clips, I mean, the sip clips, he's, he's got a big following. He's got at least 16,000 subscribers. And, of course, he was um he was bringing up the treatment which the likes of Andy Devine, John Wahona and Kaylee Freeman suffer and Cassie Crowhurst. So, if he's noticing it, I'm sure a lot of people are noticing it. I made a point earlier on about how we... I don't want to use the words troll because we have to deal with these people. I see them as the mainstream media, as the masses of people um, becoming aware of John Mahona. And while they don't understand it, they ridicule and fight it because they don't understand it. And the only reason they don't understand it is because their questions haven't been adequately answered. But then again, that's the Cratch 22, isn't it? Even if you do want, even if you do adequately answer one of their questions, they'll still come back and say, oh, he's still a scammer, and then throw us at another question. So it is, it is a big catch-22 what to do with these wonderful people who have no comprehension of the great work that John is doing and um, the plan of action he has in mind. Like I said, Gary Clark certainly isn't going to do anything about it, is he? Then Tarragon certainly isn't doing about it. We've got Grobnob. Grobnob's not doing anything about it. We've got Miss Sparkle. She's not going to do anything about it. Jeff Rode, Donkey, certainly not going to do anything about it. Okay. And Equalizer is not going to do anything about it. You see, this was an interesting... Quote from the Targeted Individuals Evidence Channel. She's doing a wonderful job by collating all the um, crimes of the Hoxted trolling gang, putting it all into one place. And her response to my suggestion that we should have a truce is the following. I don't think you'll ever get a truce. They are paid to troll you. Hey, Ginge. You want to say hello? Hey, can you see them? Can you see? They're paid to troll you. I mean, are they really paid, eh? So, Ginger, what do you what do you think of the state of the trolling in today's society? So, oh, you can't see this, can you? I'm just looking through my um, I'm just looking through my YouTube messages again. So, I've got Angie Daisy Power. That's the lady who's, um, we, we think this Angie Daisy Power is also DHL Baby Delivery Service. Um, yeah. So, there we go. It's 11.18. Late, late, late. What's all this about? We've... Chris Bivy. 
do Terry, <laughs> Theresa May and Philip May really dress up and pretend to be other people? What do you think, Bivy? I think it's time Chris Bivy starts doing some Facebook lives and start explaining his conspiracies. They're all very well reading it and looking at copious of pictures. But Chris, Chris Bivy, come on. Utilise the Facebook Live opportunity and get on and start explaining yourself. We want more explanations. Okay. It's hard work getting our heads around your um your your theory that our politicians are dressing up as other people to deceive us. Okay. I for one want you on Facebook, please. Explaining yourself. I want to know more. That's what I want. Whew. Have you farted, Ginger? You smelly little cat. Cat farted. Ah! Nasty, nasty cat. So what we're going to do, we're going to put that up there and take that off, that on. And then do the transition. Good, good, good. Let's see where you can see it. Yeah. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Feel free to call in. I don't know how. It's a bit different um, to my mobile. If you were to call in, I wouldn't know how to accept you. And I don't know how to invite anyone in anyway. So, there you go. What do you think of Chris Bivvies? You will get fooled again. Have any of you uh, read this one yet? Very good. I do enjoy reading Chris Bivvy, but I've had some public spats with him. Um, I won't go to go. I won't go into my my gripes with Chris Bivvy just yet. But I think he's another person, another asset that. Would love to have on board with the King's Bench. Now, if John goes live, I think we'll jump in. I may even have to go offline so I can listen to him online. But um, yeah, Chris Bivy, he's got a massive following. And he hasn't yet publicly told us what his thoughts on the King Bench and John Wanoa. I then ask him. Because the last time I asked him for his opinion was over the hamster kids. And he, for, as an answer, he wanted um, well, £50 a word or £500 for a paragraph. So I'm not about to ask him for his opinion again. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I would like to see Chris Bivy on the Facebook Live. It could be argued whether he was a good-looking man and whether, you know, <laughs> but either way, he comes up with some good theories which I'd like him to explain further and maybe even open him up, open himself up to a question-answer. And talking about that question-answer, I really want to get involved with having big conversations using the apps and technology we have at our fingertips. I noticed yesterday the trolls had a like a six-way conversation. There was a YouTube room in which everyone could speak, and it was like a roundtable discussion. Really interesting, and something that um, you know that that we should do. Really, we as a clique, as a movement. I don't know how big we are at the moment. But the very fact that Sip Clips was talking about us today, 
demonstrates that we're getting noticed across the internet and across the world. So what I'm going to do is I just need to do something. But I don't really want to stop stop the live feed because I want to come back and say hi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on a little promotional video. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy it. So let, let's pick out a nice promotional video for you. Let's see what I can do. We've done some King Arthur earlier on, didn't we? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play you a, like a five-minute comedy thing because, you know, this is the Matt Taylor's comedy show. And so, um, here we go. Let's, let's find some.